All right, what I have here is uh, all my graphics set up and ready to print. These are to scale uh, 23 feet by 8 feet. So this is 5 and a half, and this is 2 feet. Well, it's some, almost 8 feet tall, including the band here. And uh, this goes on the bottom of the truck, as, as you'll see later after, when we wrap the truck. <clears throat> anyway, the way I do it, if I bring this to the printer and we look at the paneling, one, two, three, four, it's five panels and a strip. And that is 403 inches long. You can see right here. So that's quite a length. I don't use a take up spool because I'm always concerned with the ink drying out prior to rolling it up. So what I like to do, I print two panels at a time, which on these, since they're five and a half feet each, that would be like 11 feet. And the way to do that is you have to manipulate it right here. Go down here. Let's zoom in on that. All you have to do is Make sure you got an overlap. I have it set for a half inch of overlap. That should be good. Let's check it out. Check it here. Looks good. We got two panels coming out. And it's about as simple as that. And after you print those two panels, just reset your panels here and manipulate the next two. The way I do it. So, two more panels coming out. Let's, see, let's zoom in. Um, this first one, all you need to do is center because we already have our overlap. So, center right there. Boom. Bring her on down. On this one, of course, we need our overlap. So, right about there. Should be good checking her out now if you make any mistakes that's two two more panels if you make any mistakes let's reset this say you made a mistake paneling for whatever reason you didn't get it correct now that's going to show is there so before you start printing always show the full uh to make sure you're not making a mis big mistake there and um I personally think that FlexiSign Pro could work a little bit with the person as far as you know the paneling kind of stuff. For as good as FlexiSign Pro is, and I've been using it here for seven years or so, it has some faults. So that's pretty much how I set up my jobs um, on these long strips here. These are uh, you know, 23 inches by. Uh, 23 feet, 277 inches. So two inches over 23 feet, I think that was. You'll see how these work out. It's going to reset. So you see that chip there? That would be wasting a lot of material. Uh, the way I would handle that one. Well, I need two of those. Well, whatever the case. Going to be similar um, as far as the paneling goes because of the same length. I would just bring this together with this. Let's see. So everything here, bring it into the printer, and that will see it's very very long. You'll also see here we're still getting a chip. So what I would do is print these two separately. Or something to that effect. Let's see. See, that's no good. If you come into these.
panels. So we can have these two panels eliminated. That's about it. Which will save us a lot of material in the long run. You know, we always want to try to optimize our <coughs> our vehicle wrap material and laminate. Following me. But there's more ways than one to skin a cat. So, whatever works for you. If you wanted to print these long runs here and just work with it as it's printing, you know, roll it as you go, kind of, it dries out a bit. There's nothing wrong with that either. All right, so we're going to move on and um, we're going to wrap two box trucks here pretty soon. And uh, Close the software out. It's F10.